I'm sitting here reminiscing now I will kiss you, baby I gave you top of the line, I know you miss it, baby I got a line on my mind, why don't you miss it, baby If I can turn back the time, you wouldn't miss it, baby Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another hair tutorial. So this is um, Kinky Straight Hair from Wild Ebony. And I just added some crimps into it. You know what I'm saying? I put it up, little half up, half down, you know. Robert needs to leave me alone. You know, you know, a little girl tease, you know what I'm saying? So if y'all feeling this tutorial, y'all feeling this look, like it's a look, it's a slay, like it's so it's everything. Be sure to keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to be taking my razor. And I'm just going to be cutting off the rim. It's really hard to show you guys and do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do it. So now I'm cutting like as close to the hairline as possible. Alright. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention to you guys is that the lace comes in this really natural transparent color so as you guys can see oh sting. ouch um you guys won't really need to color the lace like see look the lace is a nice nice color all right so I'm going to start by um, pinning back this side. I don't have another pin to do this side, so that's fine. I'm just going to, let me just put this in right here again. So you can see, basically coming all the way out to right here. All right. So I'm going to be using the Ghost Bond glue. This is my go-to glue. I always tell you guys about this glue. I don't think it'll focus for you guys, but whatever. Um, you see how this cap is sliding back? I'm not going to put any glue on my hairline. But I'm going to show you guys the actual trick that you guys can do for when this does start happening. So I'm going to take my fingers and just keep rubbing the glue along side my ears and my face. And I'm actually going to get behind the ear. Ow! Alright, sorry. I'm going to get behind the ears right now. And just get that out the way for later. Taking this and just rubbing it in. Don't forget to rub it in, y'all. Because I kind of almost did that just now. And then I'm taking this. And I'm continuing along my hairline. And remember what I said. We're getting a little bit behind the ears for right now. Rubbing it in. All right, so you see this part? I like to just pull it and lay it along the glue. Like it melts right in. No more issues, see? So I'm going to be taking the wig and pulling it forward and as I pull it forward I just like to drop it directly on the glue and you guys can see and then I'm doing, hold on let me get closer to you. I'm going ahead and doing the sides first. And rubbing that in. And, um, and I'm going to end up cutting some of this sideburn, but. Alright, now I'm going to just be cutting this off because this is too much. I'm going to cut this off and then I'm 
like the extra piece of it that's like right here. I'm trying to find a way of cutting it. I cut that off and I'm just going to put it down right here. I'm just going to take this in, smudge it in. And I'm also going to take the residue that's on here and put it in right here because right here needs some more glue. And as well as this part right here needs some more glue. Alright, so in the midst of letting this part dry, I'm going to go ahead and start this side. It's all very pretty tacky. Alright, so I'm gonna just readjust my middle readjust readjust my middle part because that's how I'm going to be wearing the hair in the middle. Yeah, this is pretty alright for me. All the hairs in my face. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and my hot comb is heating up, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the baby hairs. Uh, I'm going to start off with this section right here. And I'm just going to be shaving with my razor. The little extra hairs right there. So I bought in a new gel that I'm going to be trying out. It's called um, Wetline Extreme Gel. I'm going to try it out and see what it does for the baby hairs. Um, but I'm going to be using that with the edges to brush. If you guys don't know, I do have these available on my website. So make sure you check these out. They're only like a dollar or two dollars on my website. But you got to pay for shipping. But yeah. Because a lot of people ask me for these. Whoever can't find them at their local boot store. stores. So what have them available to you guys so I've done my first swoop and I I like it I like it a lot. I'm gonna just pull this hair apart out from the hair and I'm just gonna do some plucking at this very moment and also right here
What do you guys think about the gel? I think it's like laying them down pretty good. So I'm just going to let it be. And then my favorite part, which is my sideburns. I'm just going to take out. I'm going to take I'm going to take my I usually use freeze tag spray but I don't have any at the moment so I'm going to take my helmet head by Chi and I'm just going to just spray that so it'll hold in place so that's what this side is looking like baby hair is on fleek of course and now that I've got that side out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and turn into the other side, which is this. This side, this one is like a little bit way smaller compared to this one, but I don't really care. Alright guys, so this is the final look of how the baby hairs came out. I'm going to take my hot comb. This hot comb is like dumb hot. So, I'm taking my hot comb. Ah! And I'm just going to be pressing it down. And I'm going to go ahead and just keep pressing it down. I'm gonna go ahead and um part each space and press it down so I can have more of a flatter look. Alright, so um I've already done a couple crimps. Look how pretty they look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys basically what I did. So what I realized is because this is my first time ever doing crimps, so like basically we were learning together. <laughs> so the first thing I did was I took it and I just slid it through the first time. And when I did that, it kind of made the hair like flatten way more than what it really is. So after I take that, I just go like this and I hold it for a little bit. And then I go back and I hold it some more. And then I keep on going and I kind of like to scrunch it up a bit as I go. And I'm also taking like thin pieces and basically this is the crimp oh my god it's coming out so so pretty like i'm like really really obsessed <sighs> this might be my go-to hairstyle i really wanted to do crimps with a different color hair but i'm gonna just keep doing them all the time and do different type of things but look at this y'all <sighs> to die for i'm loving the crimps and you gotta let it kind of sit for a little bit and when you crimp down you kind of want to go in between crimps so like you want to go with the flow so this is what it looks like all right guys so i've had like a whole lot of technical difficulties first of all uh my camera died so i couldn't just stop doing my hair so i did one side for you guys and then a little bit of the other side 
now that I've kind of got the hang of it I kind of get what I'm doing so I'm gonna go ahead and do this chunk for you guys and show you guys basically how to crimp your hair I've had like just way too much technical difficulties for today all right so I'm just gonna be taking my hair and pinning it to this side this is the dumbest pin in the world like it can't even hold it don't hold nothing all right so I'm just going to take this and split it in half I'm gonna take a little bit more on this side all right so what I like to do is I'll take the crimper and I'll just quickly run my crimper to it and that kind of presses it out some so when I do that after that I just like to hold it for a little bit and I'm just going to continue the process holding it and then see that crimp and then I like to go back in right there you know and I continue to hold it some more and then you just kind of just go in between each crimp and you kind of just go with the flow as you can see it looks like a perfect piece of bacon you know what I'm saying that's what we're doing we're making bacon so yeah this is basically how it goes I think that it came out so 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 oh you can't see because it's here I think that they're coming out so pretty I'm like honestly obsessed you guys are gonna see me crimping my hair a whole lot and I'm probably gonna end up doing more people's crimps This crimper is life. Damn, I feel like I've been. I've literally started doing my hair probably at like two, and now it's like one. I mean, and now it's like six twenty-eight. Like it don't got dark outside and everything. That's one side, and now we're gonna continue the same thing. First through with a flat iron, and then ah. Ha, ha, and then you just go crimp it up. Ow! Oh, that. Oh, look, and the hair likes to slide, so make sure that you're just holding it every move so it just stays put. But y'all see the baby hair? It's like, y'all see what's going on. So, once again, if I didn't already say, this is hair from Hair Ebony, and I'm wearing 24 inches. I think this is either 22 or 24 inches of their kinky straight hair and it's a full lace wig honestly the hair is real real nice i think this kinky hair gets more and more, and more straight than the last kinky hair i had but i don't know so basically i just did one row for you guys and after that i just like to take the helmet head chi spray and mm, i literally spray like exactly on my face but whatever, I'm gonna wipe my makeup off after this. All right, y'all. I'm finally on my last one. Whew. This was the longest hairstyle I've ever done. I don't know if it's the crimps. I don't know what, but I feel like I've been doing my hair for hours. Like I'm, I'm exhausted at this point. Like I really am. Like tired. All right. So this is the finale of it all y'all so i was thinking of maybe like i like it in the middle part but i was thinking of doing like a half up type of thing starting with like from right here to like right here 
You know, just do the crimps that gets messed up. Like, I'll just do those crimps over. What y'all think? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do it. And look, y'all, I don't know if y'all remember, but I was saying that I was looking for my hair tie and I couldn't find it. Come to find out it's been on my wrist this whole time. So now, I'm just going to take it and I'm doing it into this tight ponytail. And I'm just going to pull it, tighten it, pull it, and then I'm going to scrunch it with my thingy. Ooh! I kind of don't even have to redo the crimps, but I think I'm going to take a piece of this part and just wrap it around the ponytail. I feel like really taking my time and doing it so glue on it I'm gonna go ahead and just crimp out some more of the front just to give it a sleeker look This is low key like a more Jada inspired because I seen her hair. I think she has crumps, but it might. I think she do got crumps because it kind of looks exactly like this. Yes, girl, I stole your hairstyle. You know what I'm saying? I always like take her hairstyles, but like I always, I have like a screenshot of a ton of hairstyles that she actually has that I want to try. So. Don't ever be surprised if you see something that Amor Jada has. I steal a lot of people's hairstyles, honestly. But I never really do them. I just keep them as like an inspiration. Like, I have this 613 hair. And I'm thinking about doing that unicorn color with it. But I'm not sure. But I still have it just to... I still have the picture of her unicorn color just to figure out if I'm going to do it or not. Alright, you guys. So, this is like the... Oh, you can still see my middle part and I hate when you can still see my middle part it's like girl I can still see your middle part you can't see it that bad but it's still there so this is what the hair came out looking like you know what I'm saying like Yo, what am I doing? My mom's about to come upstairs and ruin the party. Alright. Alright, guys. So, this is the final look for this hairstyle. Hope you guys are feeling it as much as I am. Like I said, again, this is a full lace wig from Royal Ebony. And this is Kinky Straight with some wands. I mean, wands. With my crimper. Like I said, I brought this crimper from Sally's. It was like 40 It was like $49. But I got it for like $47 because I'm a member or whatnot i cut check inside all the time and the best they could do is take off a couple dollars i'm gonna need y'all to take off like 10 percent 20 i don't know anyways though sorry i'm trying to let the back of my hair dry anyways um yeah so so far i'm feeling this hair i did bleach the knots myself y'all see me do my little baby hair it's like while ebony i'm gonna give you guys a thumbs up y'all came through with a natural cap that matched my scalp perfectly so be sure to know when you do purchase a wig from them, you will get a cap that matches your scalp perfectly. My baby hairs are on fleek, you know what I'm saying? I don't ever really put my laces up in a ponytail because I feel like they have that wiggish look. But I have it in a ponytail and it's just looking on point. Your hair crimps perfectly. I can tell that it crimps, I mean it straightens good as well because when I ran my crimper through it, 
Shut it. Mom, I'm recording. When I, don't open my door. Please. When I, um, I sound like a bitch. Love you. But, um, when I ran my crimper through it, it straightened really straight. And then it crimped. So, I'm, I know it straightens. I know it curls. I'll probably straighten it later. Um, yo, I'm like loving this. I feel like a princess. So, I hope you guys love this tutorial, y'all. Be sure to check out Wild Ebony and be sure to check me out on Instagram because y'all know I'm gonna post some selfies. So, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Charlene Forever and Snapchat at Charlene Forever. Also, make sure you check out my website. I'm wearing these lashes from my website. So, y'all go ahead and check them out. Check them out. Check them out. And let me know what y'all feel about this makeup. Like, I tried to do a smoky eye. But I didn't feel like it's smoky. But y'all let me know if it's smoky or not. I brought my eyeliner up way up to try to cover it. But alright. So let me know what y'all think about this hair. Let me know whose hair you want me to try next. Let me know what hairstyles you want me to try next. And give me some options. Because I got some 16, 16 thing is what I'm saying. I got some 613 hair and I'm ready to play in color. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.